Hello, I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I shower living in a van. So I jumped out of my house and grabbed my camping shower. This is the 10 liter pocket shower by Sea to Summit, not sponsored. And I ripped that baby out of its pouch and you just lift this three gallon trash bag atop of your body and let gravity take its course. The cool thing about this contraption is that it actually fits right inside your pocket. I take long showers, so I decided to fill this thing up too. I then trekked to the local grocery store from the parking lot and used a refillable water station. It was only 30 cents a gallon. I soon grew impatient waiting for this thing to fill up and I reached for my phone to play games, but it was a lot more difficult than I anticipated. As I, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> then I proceeded to spill water all over myself. I put the camping shower in a box so that I wouldn't spill water on myself again. <laughs> it was time to make the pilgrimage back home. And as many of you might know, I am a certified weenie. I have to do a few stretches before I attempt to lift this seven gallon water container. Now, I sat in traffic as I searched for a socially acceptable place to take an outdoor shower. To avoid a copyright strike, Alfredo will be performing a cover of the national anthem on the kazoo. I just, <coughs> oh my God, I just been screaming for the past like 30 minutes because I had nowhere to pull over, but there was a freaking wasp right on my freaking steer. <laughs> I literally just stopped in the middle of the road and everyone was talking at me and I was like, dude, I don't know what to do. This wasp is insanely big and, <coughs> oh my God, I was crying. I don't know where it went. I can't drive. I can't. Okay, I'm here and hoping that it's not in here anymore. I left the door open for like 20 minutes. Show yourself! It's still in here. It's still in here. It's still in here. It's still in here. It's still in here! <laughs> I have like literally nowhere to pull over for the next mile. It's like coming closer to me. <laughs> oh my god. It's, why is it so big? That's what she said. <laughs> I knew it was still in here! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to drive and I'm gonna crash! Don't understand! You don't freaking under- Oh my god, okay, I can pull over here. Oh my god, 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 I'm gonna hit this car. Oh god. If you guys think I'm f***ing dramatic, look at that! Oh my god! Go away! <laughs> Go! <sighs> At last, we arrive at our sexy, scenic shower location.
don't forget to use biodegradable soap. My shower went south. Literally, it was blowing south. I concluded that the sexy outdoor shower would not suffice my need for cleanliness. I entered the Blue Beast and sailed on to the land of infinite hot water and naked elderly women who silently judge my belly button piercing. It's an, excuse me, I'm trying to record a voiceover. As I was saying, I just skip the cardio and weights and go straight to the women's locker room. Okay, and now I'm naked. I've taken almost all my showers in the past two years at the gym and I've gotten quite comfortable. At first I was afraid I was petrified Maybe just a tad too comfortable. I'm clean! Hello? Oh, hi! Moral of the story is that I shower at the gym and that is what I've been doing for almost two years. If you have curly hair, you understand that this is a full-time job and that an outdoor shower is not gonna cut it. Also, if you haven't noticed already, I hate bugs. And every time I take an outdoor shower, they just swarm. So I don't do that anymore. I love showering at the gym. I'm very, very happy doing so. On my last video, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a curly hair routine, and I got you. I'm very passionate about natural hair, so that will be a fun one. And I also noticed that you guys want a story time of when a crazy person broke into my van. Also a fun one. But I want to film a Q&A first just because my channel has grown significantly, and there's so many comments that I just haven't got around to answering so I figured I'd just do a whole video on it so I'm gonna answer 10 questions leave them down in the comments below and if you see your question already just give it a thumbs up and I will answer them in my next video but let's rewind for a second I just want to say are you guys insane are you okay 200,000 of you guys watched my first video, my van tour, and sat through 27 minutes of me being me. And what boggles my mind is that 20,000 of you guys subscribed for more. Do you need help? Because yo no comprende. I am so happy and I love you guys and I have never felt so much love literally there's like over 2,000 comments on that video and like 99% of them are positive and I am so grateful for that because I didn't I wasn't expecting that I made that video thinking that my immediate friends and family were gonna watch it because they're the only people who put up with me but for some reason you guys do as well so thank you and welcome to my life this is gonna be so fun i have so much fun making these videos i'm just being myself and it's great because i put a lot of pressure on my first video and then one day I just decided whatever f it i'm just gonna do it how i want to do it i don't have a drone i don't have a forty thousand dollar sprinter we're just gonna do it my way and you guys appreciated that and i'm glad you appreciated that so thank you be sure to like and subscribe if you are new here i guess is that what i'm supposed to say i don't know because i didn't say that in my last video and you guys are here so i'm gonna stop talking now toodles